We're waking men up. Men are waking up. Men are recognizing the power of virtue, of being strong men, being real men. Stop being effeminate, addicted lovers, beta male, blue pill, bitch. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, my name is Ryan, 21 years old, and I have a sister which has good values but is still influenced by our degenerate age in her ways of posting on social media. I've tried to be confrontational to no avail. What would be a good way to show her how to become a virtuous woman? You know, I was having this conversation with somebody the other day, and there are a few ways that we need to look at it. Number one, you won't know what a virtuous man or woman is unless you have one in your life. Most people don't have good parents. Most people's mothers are not virtuous women. Most people's fathers are weak men. And so it's very difficult, especially when your family does not hold that high standard. I, uh, once again, man, just by the grace of God, it's not, uh, I was lucky, right? You want to call it lucky. I'm lucky to come from a traditional family with virtuous parents, right? Not perfect parents, but parents that did it the traditional way. And my parents have been great to this day, right? Amazing, amazing. And I was, because of that, because I saw that kind of virtue in my home growing up, even though I resisted it, and this is what, you know, I had to, I want to talk about in a moment. Even though I resisted it, I saw it, and by seeing it and living it, it made its way into my DNA. So that when the time was right, like a ticking time bomb, the time was right, it went off in my soul. It took me many, 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 many years to realize what my father and mother were doing and why they were right, and for me to finally fall into, fall into uh, line. It wasn't until I had four children and I was damn near 30 that I started to wake up from this. Your sister's 21 years old. So if there's no example, it's going to be very hard. There's not very many examples for young women to live virtuous lives these days. Who are the women they can look up to? This is why the renaissance of men is a renaissance of the planet, because men will go first. I don't, I'm not trying to blow my own horn, but guys like me and a lot of the guys that are on YouTube, they're talking to young men about these particular topics. We're waking men up. Men are waking up. Men are recognizing the power of virtue, of being strong men, being real men. Stop being effeminate, addicted lovers, beta male, blue pill bitches, right? We're waking up out of that stupor that we've been in for the past two generations. Women, on the other hand, they don't have that because what is virtuous for women has been denigrated as, as worthless, right? A true virtuous woman. You know, when they use the word virtue with a woman, you know what that means? Virgin. Virgin. Virginity is a virtue for women. But you say that these days and they tear you down. Oh, Elliot is a misogynist because he doesn't want women who are sluts. Right. Virtuous woman is a virgin. Who's teaching them that? What woman is out there teaching women to be virtuous? They teaching them how to be everything else, everything else except virtuous. A virtuous virgin woman who knows how to cook, who knows how to please a man. They offer nothing. They have nothing to offer most of these women. They think that their pussy is gold. It's not. So there's no virtue left in women. So your, your sister's 21 years old, and you got to understand something. Because attention is, is value to women. Attention is their currency. They get their sense of value from how many people love their pictures, like their pictures, comment on their pictures. And we all do that. That's how men have become effeminate, but it's more, more of a female nature. That's why Instagram was designed for women. Did you know that? Did you know that Instagram was designed for women? Right? That, that makes me feel like a, like a sissy, right? Instagram, with all its filters and stuff, were designed for women. And then men are on there. I remember when Instagram first came out, uh, the, the only reason why I knew about it is because of these girls, these women, these women that my wife knew. And they came over and she was like, hey, you doing this new thing? Talking to my wife about Instagram, right? And I was leery right away. I was like, don't you try to get my wife on no crazy shit. Because everything starts out with a particular premise. 
and then it evolves, it grows. And now Instagram is what Instagram is, which is, of course, it's, it, it's whole island as well, but you know, we're using it for all different kinds of stuff. So she's doing exactly what the culture has taught her to do. She's doing, she's doing exactly what she's supposed to do based on the hellhole we live in. She's doing it right. And you're trying to teach her and trying to cajole her and trying to confront her on something that is counterculture. It is very counterculture for women to be traditional. You can find, there's a bunch of them on TikTok now, that, nowadays. Go to the 21 Studios web, uh, YouTube channel and look for the, uh, he just put up a video on, I think like 21 women who are destroying feminism on TikTok. Go look up that video. Anthony put it up like a week ago and it went viral. There are these women on TikTok. It's so funny is that it's TikTok, right? It's so funny that it's TikTok. But TikTok has a large, there's a large movement happening to retraditionalize women and men on TikTok, right? You wouldn't believe it, right? Yeah, go check that out. Go check out, go check out TikTok. You'll find that there are women out there that are teaching women how to stop being bad women. I was so shocked when I started finding them. So they're out there. So you're trying to, trying to give her ways to, or give her reasons why she shouldn't be doing what she's doing, but I don't think that that's what you should be doing. I think what you need to do is state your opinion, stick to it, and wait till she comes around, right? They say one of the hardest things for women to do is to, to, is to admit when they're wrong, and she may never admit when she's wrong, but as her life begins to unfold and she has the experiences that are evident, that, that, that reflect her actions, she may kind of wake up a little bit. But right now she's getting exactly what she wants and she's doing what the cult culture tells her to do. So you're really just getting in her way. You're an annoyance. She don't want to hear what you have to say. You are annoying. She don't want to hear what you have to say. I'll leave you with this. If you really love a woman, just like I love my daughters, and they, they don't always listen to me. They argue with me. Right? They argue with me. They don't believe everything that I'm saying is true because it's me against the culture. Right? And I'm not as sexy as the culture. So I gotta I have to, I have to I'm constantly battling for my daughter's soul against the culture. So I gotta talk to them. I talk to them. And they you know they're not always happy. Well, one of the things that I've done, at least with my one of my daughters, is to let her read the right books. Give her some books. My daughter wanted something from me, right? She wanted me to help her with her exercise program. I said, fine. Fine, I'll help you with your exercise program, but we're going to be listening to The Oracle by Stephen Arneo, which is a book about virtuous women. We're going to be listening to The Anti-Mary. You want to read a really good book, right, that is about how we got here through feminism, what is required for women to become virtuous again? The Anti-Mary by Carrie Gress, C-A-R-R-I-E, Gress, right? Read that book. Those two books, The Oracle, because they're written, they're written for a woman. One is by a man for a woman, and the other one is by a woman for a woman. And the anti-Mary, the anti-Mary exposed, that's what it's called. The anti-Mary exposed. I probably have that book around here somewhere. Read the, give her those books, you know, whether she reads it or not, at least you tried, you gave it to her. Or, you know, if you drive with her in the car because you guys go to work together or something like that, or school together, play it in the car while she's there. And sometimes by hearing it from somebody else, this is another thing about women. Women, I'm going to get tore up today because I'm saying a whole lot of things that women are not going to like. Women are followers. Women are, it's in their nature to be followers because they're egalitarian. They're more interested in getting along than, 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 than sticking out or, or, or doing what's right. They're less interested in doing what's right and they're more interested in doing what's popular. They're more interested in doing what other women are doing and what's gonna make other women like them, right? If all the other girls are doing it, they're going to do it. It's just, it's their nature. It's not, I'm not knocking, I'm just describing what is a fact. Women are more followers by nature. That's why the serpent came to Eve. If he would've come straight to Adam, Adam would be like, get the hell out of here, I ain't following you nasty snake, get out of here. And would've just stomped on his head. Eve was being nice. Oh, snake. Oh, Satan. What is it that you have to say? Oh, let's have a conversation. Oh, don't you say, Satan. I guess I'll follow your lead, right? That's their nature. That's why, that's why these myths and these stories, these creation stories, describe our nature. And this is why they want these books burned, 
right? So you got to look at it for what it is because it's real and we have to stop being fake and we got to fess up to what is and we got to live life based on facts, not feelings. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.